Hello, and welcome to the Get Rid of Money blog. It's safe to say that money affects almost every area of our lives. Regardless of how much or how little of it a person has, its influence is virtually inescapable. A budget must be consulted and financial ramifications must be considered before making all but the most inconsequential decisions. The so-called Great Recession of 2008 has detrimentally impacted thousands of lives all over the world for the past several years. But this is by no means the first time that the behavior of money has resulted in human misery. Human need has become subordinate to the accumulation of material wealth and a lust for power. Our desire to participate in and contribute to society in a meaningful way is suppressed in a world dictated by money. Economists, experts, and those in positions of power pontificate on the ills caused by the monetary system and offer innumerable suggestions as to how to cure them. But none of these great minds mentions the white elephant in the room. Eliminate the monetary system and develop an alternative method of producing and delivering goods and services to meet the needs of the world's population. The time has come for us to examine a different system of human interaction, a system that relies on other people rather than money, barter, or any other method of exchange. Can we do it? Should we do it? And if so, how would we do it? I've pondered this concept and these questions for more than a decade. On the occasions I've introduced these ideas to someone, they are usually dismissed as ridiculous and unworthy of discussion. 21st century civilization is so thoroughly entrenched in the monetary system that the mere suggestion of eliminating it is something akin to heresy. Most of us handle day-to-day -day transactions without thinking much about them. Kind of like walking or driving, it's not something that requires a lot of conscious thought. We go to the grocery store, get out a card, and swipe it while talking with the cashier or thinking about what's on TV that night. Many of us have our paychecks deposited directly into our account, so we never even come into contact with an actual check. As a one-week exercise, pay close attention to how often money comes into and goes out of your hands. No need to keep a written record. Just be very aware of how much of your life is involved in monetary transactions, regardless of how large or small. Clearly, it's difficult to imagine a world in which money doesn't exist. It's like trying to imagine a world in which people can fly or animals can talk. It's totally foreign to everything we've ever known. Yet, that is precisely what I'm asking of you. I hope you will be sufficiently intrigued to share your thoughts with me and anyone else who chooses to participate.